to I've known other people like that who live their life in the present moment with the risen Christ, who were not afraid of dying, who would talk to you about it, who had been able to work through the griefs and the regrets of their life, and were now able to live in such a way that they did not have any more regrets. That life that, J that John talked about one day in heaven is now available to those of us who follow Christ right now, if that's what you want. See, that's where it gets a little dicey, if that's what you want. Now, most of us, come on, just you and me talking, okay? We're friends. We've known each other a long time. Most of us don't want that, do we? Huh? Come on now, be honest with me. Because you don't spend that, that amount of time in prayer. Well, well Mike, we have things to do. Well, we, we've got a life to live. We just can't sit around and, you know, we're not like you, like I live on Mars during the, the week. You know, you don't live in the real world, Mike. You don't spend that kind of time in Scripture study. Why? If we did all that, we would, we would lose all our contacts on Facebook. <laughs> we wouldn't know what was going on in Game of Thrones. We'd show up for work. We wouldn't have anything to talk about. It's a tough world, Mike. There are different rules. No. No. There is one king. There is one kingdom. Everything else goes away. Everything that is not built on the word and life of Jesus Christ goes away. We're spending our life building castles of sand that won't last. <laughs>